Hello and welcome back to the next sand track edition where I want to give you some dirt bike riding tips how to cope with these rough sandy conditions. Today I want to talk about jumps. Uh, in this sand track we have several jumps that have deep sand uh, ruts going into them and also the landing has around half a meter of soft sand as well. How to go into the jump and how to land safely. That's something I want to talk about today. In these sandy tracks, there are two very important things. One is the correct body positions and the other one is consistent power delivery. As you can see, this jump and the jump face it has a lot of different, very, very like liney uh, ruts going into the jump. There are no straight lines. That means that we have had riders here who have struggled with the jump face. We have two lines in the right side that are more or less straight. These are the lines that I have chosen. These types of jumps are extremely difficult and challenging especially for beginner riders and because of the, these two reasons incorrect body positions and not enough power delivery what happens is that if you lose the power your body position moves forward and the body weight moves on the hands if this happens then your front end will starting to tuck in into the sand and in, you end up having these really liney uh, ruts. The, what you want to have going into these jumps is to have power delivery and have again the correct body positions. We start from standing on the balls of the feet, grabbing the bike with their knees, the hips are back, back is straight and we are one with the bike, we are able to move and our hands are free. We are going into jump like this and we always have a little bit power delivery. What we want to also have is the front end has to be light. That means that the whole weight is distributed on the legs. The hands are free, but just the front body is in front here, trying to move, being flexible and dynamic and being able to steer the bike properly. But the weight is in the, in the backside. And as we have the power delivery, consistent power delivery, our front end is able to be light and that means we don't tuck in our front in end into these ruts and into the deep sand. When we talk about going into the jump and we see the jump face from here, it's really important that you have your eyesight in the tip of the jump. You can't watch right ahead of you what happens here. If you're only riding like this, then you will have troubles. If you are right here when I'm standing, already I have to look into the top side of the jump face. Here I take decision which line I'm going to take, which line I'm going to commit to and have the consistent power delivery to this line. The second I let off the throttle, I lose balance, my body weight moves forward and I'm on, the, on my hands and my front end starts to tuck in and I have troubles. That means you have to be on consistent power delivery. Do not let off the throttle at all. Just a little bit all the time the rear end carries you forward and that way you're able to maintain the body weight on the rear. The another difficult thing we recognize here is that in these ruts we also have bumps that means that if we go into these ruts and we are body weight is in forward, that makes our life even more difficult. That means again, the body weight is back, we have the throttle and the front end is low, low uh, or light, sorry. Front end is light and we are able to skim those bumps from here. And it's really important that as you go into the jump, you have the consistent power delivery, you are in the back in the jump face, as in the jump as well. In the jump, you don't lean too forward because 
the landing is soft as well and we want to have our front end really light when we are landing. We almost want to little bit land first on the rear tire and then on the front tire. So let's talk about landing now. As you can see we have like half a meter soft, really soft sand and ruts in the landing. That means that the landing is one of the most important parts here and especially in the sand tracks what you need to keep an eye on. First, as I mentioned, you have to land a little bit on the rear end first and have the throttle on immediately. In the air already, few milliseconds before landing, you hit the throttle in order to have the rear end carry you forward immediately when you land. Now, let's talk about body positions as well. I want you to land again on the, the weight is on the rear tire. The front end has to be light and you have to be in the attack position. If your body is soft when you land, it doesn't forgive you here. In these conditions, you will be screwed if you are soft and landing like this. You have to be in the attack position, ready to attack these uh, ruts, this sand. And that means being on the rear tire with your weight and hitting the throttle really heavily. Because as we land, these uh, ruts, this sand doesn't end. You have to be really fast throughout this straight line in order to have your body or bike carry you forward all the time. Thank you for watching this episode today. I'm really thankful for you that you spent your time in this channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure that you're subscribed because every week I try to bring the top dirt bike riding tips to you. And also, one important thing I want to announce. Last year I wrote three dirt bike books and these are e-books that are covering everything about motocross. The dirt bike riding tips, pro riders mentality, nutrition, everything, how they prepare for the motocross races and so on. These three books you're able to get with an insane discount offer. Click the link in the YouTube description under this video I have added and you can get much more information about this offer, about these books and especially about the value you are about to receive. So thank you for watching and we will see with you really soon.